Welcome to Sassy Crafting Mama. Today we're going to make a hula hoop floor wreath. I purchased two hula hoops from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted them. And this color is called Warm Gold, which I purchased at Lowe's. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So off camera, um, if you can see, I sprayed the hula hoop gold, and I just have it laying on my table. So before I begin, I'm going to go over the supplies. So I got some floral wire, and these are all from the Dollar Tree. I got some lilies, just one. I got two things of ferns, two of these. One of those, one of those, and three of the hyacinth. All right, so we will begin. And off camera, because once you can see, I just took some fishing line and I measured it out maybe about 12 inches. I doubled it, if you can see that. Then I looped it around here. And then I just spaced it out a little bit between both of the hula hoops and I tied it in a little loop up top and it hangs beautifully and as you can see I put this up top um, right here just because that's a little imperfection in the hula hoop after I sprayed it and and we're gonna hide that with some bow so let's begin So this is what I have so far. I am just laying them down and trying to arrange them on the hula hoop, trying to get an idea of what I like. So far, I put down the ferns, and then these are the hyacinth. I think that's how you say it. And then these are the lockwood. This is the one that begins with an N. And then I'm gonna add the lilies right in the middle and repeat on that side. So I'm just playing around with it to see how I like it. So far, this is what I have. And I was gonna get my computer, but it's charging. So I apologize for the cellular video. As you can see from the video, I started the side on the left prior to recording. And I'm going to show you the same exact process on the right hand side. So you just want to play around with your flowers. You may have to pull them out push them over, and you're just going to lay them right on top of the hula hoop. Position them where you want them. And then you're going to get your floral wire and just start wrapping it lightly around your hula hoop till you get it exactly the way you want it and give it a tight little tug and tie it off.
this clip is the same process, so I am going to speed it up just a little bit because I think you get the technique that I'm doing. I did purchase the fish and wire from Ollie's. I believe it was maybe a dollar something or two dollars. It wasn't that much. And like I said, all the supplies I bought that you see in this video, the flowers and the hula hoop, were purchased from the Dollar Tree. The spray paint that I used was purchased from Lowe's. There is a ribbon that you will see coming up. I don't recall where I purchased that. And the love sign that you see at the end of the video, I purchased that from the Dollar Tree as well. This project total time, I believe, was less than an hour once I got started after the hula hoop dried, which I let that dry for maybe about an hour just to make sure I didn't want any paint all over the house. I receive so many compliments when people come over to our home. They just love my floral wreath. It's a conversation starter. It's that piece that you have in your room that people talk about. And now I'm showing you my little secret.
Here's my finished project, my double hoop, hula hoop, floral wreath. This is the finished project. I thought it could use one more little extra touch. So I added a love sign, which I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Hubby gave it a quick coat of the gold paint. And I love it. So thank you so much for watching Sassy Crafting Mama. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.